Hey guys, uh, I'm going to make another Judaism series that's going to be called um, Life in the Flesh. Uh, through uh, Christ's ministry, the Pharisees and religious leaders and the kings before him were living a life of the flesh. Uh, they would have multiple wives. They would get it wrong a lot, like I don't think God wanted them to have 500 wives and 500 prostitutes um, and to live for their own glory like the Pharisees. Um, again, not all the Pharisees were bad. Uh, some of the Pharisees were, you know, good people or, you know, were righteous. And they, they I think a couple of them maybe purely wanted to live for God, you know, above the law or the Torah and above their own kingdom and money and power and all that um you know all these world leaders you know Pilate and Herod you know the night he was crucified they lived after their own lusts they lived after their own kingdom they were of the world like Christ was so dead like when he was talking to them he was so empty like that's how I felt when people deceitfully turn again you know brought me you know like just mental things and stuff like that like I realized my destiny and stuff people of faith or of the bible um like that pastor will condemn me and say I'm a lunatic and throw me in the fire or crucify me I'm um, sorry uh but my faith is in Christ completely and I'm not discrediting the bible So Herod and Pilate, they lived after the flesh. They had money, power, all the women, uh, drank all the time, I'm sure, uh, focused on themselves over their own people. Like if one of their servants went against them, you're dying, you're getting cru crucified. But that's uh, the way of the world, man. Those are the world leaders. That's how the kings are. That's how even the, the presidents are. Most, a lot of them, maybe a couple were okay, but, you know, they lived after themselves. They lived after a life after the flesh when Jesus was of the spirit. But Jesus was, like, so dead when he went to them and all the, he was turned over for by Judas Iscariot to the uh, religious people and stuff. He was, uh, he just didn't say anything. Like, they asked him questions. They're like, are you, they probably said, I can't remember scriptures exactly, but they're probably like, you know, punching him and like jabbing him with knot or, you know, like just torturing him. And they're like, who are you? And then he would just like, he had no life in him because like he was God, you know, kind of forced it. You know, he did had to crucify him for the our sins, for our, for our faults, for our crucifying his son and for not a... I guess not obeying or following God. Um, but yeah, uh, Christ, uh, you know, he didn't live after the, the flesh. He lived after the spirit. Like he was focused on the people. Love, you know, love is not a physical thing. Uh, it's an emotional, spiritual thing. So he showed the poor people in money, of the spirit, in spirit, not loved condemned by the religious people pharisees and sadducees again not all of them are bad i i'm gonna say some of them gradually probably came to christ you know not all of them were of the of the world or whatever um but yeah uh they lived the life after the flesh the kings did uh, the israelites not all of them i'll say you know samuel was a good one you know like a couple of them were good and didn't really sin or do anything for their own good. They did it for God's good, for the kingdom of God. But, you know, Israel wanted a king and Samuel, you know, they kept mumbling, like, we want a king, we want a king. And, you know, God, Samuel and God, you know, they were both like, you guys don't want a king, you don't want a king, you know. The, the kings are uh, of the world, they're going to, do all these un unlawful things they'll uh take 
people's money and wives and things like that. They'll kill their people for not doing their will, even though they are doing God's will. For making innocent mistakes, they'll violently crucify them and kill them. Like Jesus, like they should, like they did to Jesus. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, but yeah, you know, uh, they wanted the flesh. They wanted idolatry. They wanted these gods that everyone was following. Uh, all these idols, Baal, I think, and like Balaam or other gods like that. It's the story of the Old Testament and uh, idolatry, or even uh, the New Testament and Acts, like different idols and books, mad or you know things like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, Christ, he was more or less God in this mysterious way, made flesh or in the flesh, like he was focused on the kingdom of God in this mysterious way. They're all one God, Christ in the Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost all are one in this mysterious uh, way, mystical way. Um, but yeah, Christ, uh, again, he he was so pure. He prayed for his enemies. Like those kings were just worried about themselves. They didn't care about their people or the people against them. They would just want to kill them. Christ didn't. I'm going to say he didn't really... He was betrayed. He was sad, and by that, but I don't think he wanted revenge. He was a hundred percent pure and holy. Um, he didn't want the revenge. He was praying for them. Like for me, like for people I've done wrong to me, I, I do pray for him, even though it's not in my heart. Christ said, "Pray for your enemies." But uh, you know, you pray for them. You, even though it's hard, um, it's hard to forgive sometimes. But uh, you know we got to follow Christ guys you know we got to focus on the kingdom of God you know it's all light no darkness no pain no suffering that's the world man that's the oppression of the world you know women are uh you know sex you know like the, the strip club I talked about like some of them want to do that but I mean some prostitute you know like it sounds horrible like some people have to suffer like that I mean, some of them want to do that, but some of them are, like, in pain, like, spiritually dead because they don't want to do that, and that's what they have to do to survive because these people with all the money, they don't care about those people. They just uh, will give their 10% because the Bible says so or whatever, but, you know, Christ said to give all your money to the poor, to the rich man. Amen. Um, so... Christ didn't have muscle cars or anything, and again, I'm not trying to persecute people and say life's, you know, it's kind of damage is kind of already done through Christ, you know, if we follow him and glorify him and glorify God and the kingdom, that's what's important, I think, um, but yeah, the, the flesh, uh, idols, uh, carnal-minded thinking, uh, I mean, that's the way of the world. I mean, it's hard to sugarcoat, but I mean, like, the Hollywood industries, like, I'm not trying to be dark or negative or put fear in people, but, like, that's the way of the world. Like, they just care about themselves. They don't care. If you're late for work, they don't care. Like, they care about themselves. They will fire you if you're not living for them. That's just an example. Or in order to move up, you're going to have to do this thing for me or, you know, like, that happens like in the music industry and things like that i think i've never been affiliated with that but i've heard stories but that's the way of the world i mean christ offers this whole different way of living a pure lit way of living a holy way of living a spirit way of living a peaceful uh, a, that genuine light of the kingdom of god Again, these are some thoughts, but I, I don't really want, I'm reluctant to say because of that pastor that put me down and the religious people, but, you know, the kingdom of God, there's New Jerusalem, I think in Revelations it talked about that, you know, it's, it's beautiful, man, it's 
it's beautiful like the water like it's it's just beautiful there's no electricity there i think you know it's all light it's incredible um and you there's probably synagogues too and this city of day, you know like new new with that too like all the jerusalem and new jerusalem all those kind of things um but uh there's a uh, There's probably churches there. There's choirs singing. I mean, there's, you know, the Christ Be Our Life from the Notre Dame Choir. Like, that was really beautiful. Like, they they all were living for God. Like, you know, a lot of religious, that pastor will condemn me for that or condemn them. But, you know, that, that was beautiful. Like, in services when the choir sings and I sing, like, I have a booming voice there, believe it or not. <laughs> um but, you know, with the spirit working through you, you can actually sound good. You know, the people of the world say, oh, you can't sing. But, you know, all these people aren't singers, but they you, they sound good together. <laughs> like, you know, Christ works through it, through the spirit. Amen. But, uh, yeah, heaven, man, it's, it's incredible. Uh, like, Jesus' whole ministry, man, it's about the kingdom of God, like, the Old Testament when these people would see God or see God face they couldn't look at him and they were so afraid and even the disciples or whatever I saw Jesus talking to the kingdom there on the mount I think they were so afraid because <laughs> it was so intense like the intensity of it is nothing in this world like acting and chromatic that pastor condemned me but you look in Jesus's eyes man like her picture she had a revelation of it of Jesus but his like greenish eyes are so intense like they're hard to look at like the intensity is so intense i mean it's hard to look at like it's just so much truth and uh, hope and it's just kind of a fierce uh peaceful like intense truth uh truthful path to the uh kingdom of god like it's, it's it's so intense i can't even like i'm pretty strong faith like i have really strong faith i follow christ jesus but yeah that's intense um but yeah i might i can't i'm not sure i may change the name of this video but uh yeah i'm here for god i'm trying to preach my heart out to the israelites and jews uh and again if you say well, and Peter and Paul, I think we're Jews too, and they're like, oh, we don't want to preach to the Gentiles. Uh, we don't want to preach to them because, uh, you know, we want to. We're prideful of the Jew, being a Jew, and again, I'm not Jewish, but I I become a part of the family if that makes sense. And sorry if some of the Jewish people want to. You are the children of God from the get go, but we become children of God as Christian, you know, through Christ. Um, but, you know, if you want to be a Jew still and look at me and say, hey, you're not a Jew, I, I get that. Uh, in heaven, you're, you know, there's going to be uh, an equal group of people, you know, Asians and uh, uh, with uh, Christ, the head of the church, you know, the right hand of the Father. Um, it's a beautiful place, man. Uh, I, I believe in Christ. I, I want to follow him, so. See you.